Colossians 4 or 5 states, be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. And this is directly related to my work in corporate America around diversity and inclusion. I do a lot in executive coaching, a lot in leadership development, but DNI is the big hot topic right now. And when I read this, I loved the language of be wise in the way you act toward outsiders because how do we define what an outsider is? A lot of people default to just race and gender when it comes to DNI issues. And I spend a lot of time in the corporate world talking about inclusivity and what that actually means. Any single one of us can be an outsider at any given time, depending on what situation we find ourselves in. If you're at a table of everyone who's just talking about golf and you know nothing about it at all and it goes on for a really long time, you're going to kind of feel like, well, I can't participate. You might be feeling bad, things like that. But if there is someone in the group that notices, hey, there's an outsider here, there's an opportunity there. There's an opportunity to bring you in. There's an opportunity to teach. There's an opportunity to ask questions. Now, this is bigger than golf, right? So as a Christian, do you find yourselves ever in a group, but then um, do you notice that maybe there's an outsider nearby? Do you um, welcome a conversation, open your arms to um, bring someone in and not make them feel like they are an outsider, but allow them to be an outsider in your inside group or whatever that might be. So letting them understand your faith or talking about the Lord, um, letting them feel Christ's love through you and how inclusive you are to others that may be thinking differently from you. So today I encourage each and every one of us to um, put on our DNI hats and have that inclusivity um, feeling and put that foot forward today. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders because there's an opportunity there. There's an opportunity with each and every one of us. And we think about Jesus and we think about how he did that. And if we can exemplify that, I think we can um, find treasures in other people and make other people feel like they don't need to be on the outside. So, cause we can all find ourselves in, in that position one day. That's what I'm gonna leave you with today. My name is Janine Calavito. I'm the founder of Letter From Christ. And as always, I wish you a blessed and abundant day. Thank you, everyone.